But the thing is, there is definitely uh, room for improvements in the sales team here at Eigenmode. But we are aware of that. And that's why we are reading the book. But the most important thing is to also understand that it's a choice. It's like good and good enough, so you gotta be great. And I'm gonna do whatever it takes. Doing what I love for life. And I'll pay the price. And not stopping even if the shit kills me. Even if it kills me. Christmas episode is coming up. Svea Melina Lanshoff is preparing something. Yeah, that's, I like it, I like it. <laughs> okay, I'm ready, are you ready? Do you like this? Are we rolling? Are we recording? We're recording. Ready. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready, Svea Molina, to do this the best show ever? Absolutely. This is the final Christmas episode, and I want you to actually unleash everything you have on your side this unleash time. Unleash the beast. All right. Okay, let's okay. go. <laughs> <laughs> I give you the countdown. Let's hype it up. Best episode ever. Three. And it's 132, because I know you're going to ask. Three, two, one. <laughs> Hello, my friends, and uh, welcome to Macron Talks. This is episode 131, and uh, my name is Matthias Grunborg. Why you? Why you look? You have that. 132. 132. But it's okay. It's okay. We are excited. It can happen. Okay. I was excited. (laughs) This is episode 132, and as I said. My name is Matthias Grunborg, a.k.a. Matt Grund, and here today in my Peaky Blinders inspired Christmas uh, outfit. And um, <laughs> here in this show, I'm uh, sharing my scaling up journey, building my company from nothing Thank to something. something. And of course, as always, we have my co-host, Svea Malina Lenshoff. How are you doing? I am doing good, Matthias. Good boy. Welcome to the show. And uh, as you can tell, I already put some Christmas stuff, 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 Christmas stuff up here in the background because we are always recording one week ahead, in case you didn't know. But we're publishing one week later, which means we're publishing this on Christmas Eve. So if anyone is actually watching this Christmas Eve, kudos to you. That's dedication. Welcome. And... So that you get some Christmas feeling. We also have a little bit of um, decoration here. Good you means Merry Christmas in case you didn't know. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, Happy Holidays. I think you can say that. That's yes, like Happy universal. Holidays. I think <laughs> that's the, that's very important uh, to uh, wish everyone a Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. That's actually <laughs> Merry Christmas, you say. In Swedish, when you translate it, you say Happy Christmas. Yeah, like glad, that. glad you're a little good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think both works. Yeah. Yeah. Or I um yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. And, oh yeah. I also have some Christmas light yeah. here. And <laughs> astronaut and um, yeah. Yeah, that's that's, that's uh, Christmas at Eiger Moon. That's what you get. Yeah. All right. Uh, so I lost track here. We need to do the framework because this is where entrepreneurship runs smack into reality three times per week monday wednesday and fridays matthias take the framework away for everyone who might be new or forgot what we're doing here <laughs> yes my uh, my friends we we have a framework for you and uh, the first episode every week we talk about uh, my journey growing as a human being and a leader so the topic is self-development and episode number two every wednesday we talk about all the things i'm learning in the entrepreneurial process scaling up igo moon and then every friday we talk about my weekly self-inventory and i share what i could have done differently what i have learned and we are celebrating the victories Yes. Yes. So that's today. Today is Friday. So let's yeah. take it away. And I just hit the table again. I promised myself not to hit the table, to not ruin the audio, but I still do it. <laughs> but okay, I'm gonna don't not do it from now on. So. But it's good <laughs> that you have actually changed. Uh, I've changed the setup here. The, yeah. the setup with the microphone because now when you hit the table, uh, I'm. 
a little bit okay okay like before yeah because you know here we learn you know we yeah. we develop and we're yeah. doing our best okay so <laughs> we, we are improving at the same time as we are doing stuff here so exactly so let's talk about the friday episode and the summary of the week what have you been up to uh it was a uh, a really good week here at uh, igo moon and uh, we um and um, what I uh, when I what I take uh, with me from this week is um, we uh, have had a super fun week. Uh, so in, in December we actually uh, we uh, we set up a goal like uh, and here at Igo Moon we we use marbles mm -hmm. and actually make it a little bit more fun when we try to make something a little bit more visual mm -hmm. what we need to achieve so everyone they are putting marbles in a in a jar and Anton has done a tremendous uh, work uh, like uh, putting together a like a um, both uh, a goal for the company but also uh, he's uh, running a like a team competition thing is that what I've seen uh, I think on Instagram yeah, was it today <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It, it's on Instagram. Yeah. There is a marble war going on, and <laughs> like depending how the team achieves the the goal with the um, that is uh, that we are measuring in marbles, mm -hmm. uh, they get a um, they get marbles, and then we are actually playing like a marble game when he 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 build uh, like a like pyramids mm -hmm. uh, and 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 then you should hit the depending on how many marbles you get the chances uh, increases to hit these pyramids okay. and uh, yeah. and uh, then there is different prices uh, connected uh, and they also um, so uh, there is like i think there were there yeah there there are yeah there are like one two three four different pyramids to hit different prices that sounds fun yeah. i want to do that too can i do that even though i don't have yeah. marbles <laughs> i just you know sneak in and you do can't. something else <laughs> can't. i can't I need marbles okay good then i, I need to, yeah, so to create some that, revenue here <laughs> yeah. that sounds so, super fun um, yep and um yeah so yeah that's uh Everyone is very involved in that. <laughs> yeah, I could tell. It was like yeah. it was right here for you. You wanted to talk about that right away because it just uh, yeah. you just played the game. I think today. Um, yeah. Okay. What else happened this week? I'm sure there was more than the marble game. Oh yeah, good question. So I think uh, this week I have been uh, working on uh, the sales process. I'm uh, in, I'm I'm doing a lot of improvements around. On the sales process, and I'm also uh, uh, I'm, this week. I'm spending. I have spent more time supporting the the sales team, mm -hmm. and um, uh, I'm uh, really looking forward to uh, doing some more more work on that. And we are also in the sales team. We we we, uh, we are reading this book now, the Challenger Sale, and uh, yeah. We we had a meeting this uh, Thursday, and we have that uh, on a every second week. We we meet to discuss uh, the book, and we read a chapter. We discuss the book. So, yes. Um, What's that book about in a nutshell? Just roughly, why are you deciding to read this with everyone? Again, uh, I think it's all about uh, get a better understanding like a, a successful uh, salesperson what kind of behaviors and attitudes do you uh, find what kind of traits you find in, uh, in the, a uh, person like that mm -hmm. and but, but what's very interesting with uh, this book is that it's uh, there's some science they have actually proved that the worst sales person ever mm -hmm. uh, is the person that is very good building relationships. Mm -hmm. uh, because a person has only, you know, 
focused on getting good relationships in a uh, in a uh, like where we are now with the uh, solution selling so to speak and complex selling like b2b business you must become a challenger you yeah. you, you like a, a huge part of the sales rule is actually uh, to uh, challenge uh, the the buyers the decision makers yeah. the decision influencers you must be you must really put yourself in a state and you must uh, really be brave and having the courage to uh, like from a professional standpoint make people uh, uncomfortable yeah. like like okay challenge them you can't just be focusing on the relationship because then you will not sell any I would be a horrible like, salesperson. That's why I'm not a salesperson. That's why I do this interview, you know, and I take photos. Because why why are you so horrible? Because <laughs> I know that I would not be the person to challenge people and to, um, yeah, I, I'm like, you know, I want everything to be in harmony and don't offend anyone or something, you know. I'm not saying you have to offend anyone. That, that sounded wrong. But you know me, I, I think we both can agree. That's just not my job. I think your sales team is great. They're good salespeople. They know what they're doing and I do my stuff. <laughs> yeah. But that's why you have, you know, all we, the, we the have a sales people. Team. Yeah. That's why you yeah. have a sales team. It's why you have like other people who design and uh, other people who code. You know, we all know what we're good at. <laughs> but the thing is, there is definitely uh, room for improvements in the sales team here at Igomo. Okay. And, um, <laughs> and we are, uh, yeah, we, but we, we uh, we are aware of that yeah. and that's why we are reading the book um, but the most important thing is <clears throat> to also understand that it's a choice because mm -hmm. uh, and um, now i'm just uh, play along with me here uh, because what we are talking about here when you uh, shared um, i mean the context of yourself mm -hmm. as a sales salesperson mm -hmm. is that the book is also showing that these traits is actually something you can learn. Mm -hmm. That also kills another myth that you're kind of born. Yeah, it's kind of what I thought too. Like you yeah, have it or exactly. you don't have it. So, okay. uh, so here's my second question. Mm -hmm. Are you interested to learn how to become better? Absolutely. Yes. There's in, room in, for in improvement sense. for sure. Yes. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so but uh, so uh, that's something to actually think about mm -hmm. uh, if you want to, uh, I mean, become better in, in sales. Uh, these uh, traits uh, you could actually learn or unlearn depending uh, what you need to uh, work on. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's actually the reason why we, we decided to read a book. Okay. And uh, a lot of kudos uh, to Henrik and Dennis. Uh, I think they have done a tremendous work also during this year, learning uh, everything around HubSpot, also growing uh, personally and yeah. uh, and uh, um, becoming better. And and we, we we are reading this book because, as I said, we we want to uh, we want to to grow. Yeah. So uh, get even better. Maybe yeah, I should have a look at this book. Now you got me interested. I'll link it down below for everyone who might also be curious about it. Okay, other things of the week. Anything else to add or yeah. self-inventory time? No, let's do self-inventory. Take it away, Matthias. Yes, take it away. <laughs> so, um, yeah, um, I was, you know, I was thinking about something I could have done differently. Mm -hmm. And I mean, over the... How should I say? I think there's something happening inside of me, or outside <laughs> of me, on a you know, um, it's a little bit connected to the the Monday episodes we do self development. Mm -hmm. But you know, right now I feel more than ever it's a little bit of a it's now or never attitude growing mm -hmm. inside of me, and uh, you can also see it. We we uh, we are scaling up. So we're scaling up. Scaling up. <laughs> we say that in Swedish, yeah. <laughs> but in English we we probably say uh, scaling up. Yeah. Um, 
I go home. We uh, we uh, had a all time uh, revenue record in November. Uh, we we also uh, in November we become 20 people and 20 employees. So that's also a new record. Mm. And with that, you must be able to uh, have the cash flow and the, the profit to actually be growing a company. And you know when you are like 10 people, uh, and you, and now I'm talking when you are bootstrapping a business, like when you don't have outside investment coming investments coming in, and I mean in the beginning you 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 you, you kind of you, you you bring in you add business uh, like everything you can find. Mm. Uh, basically to survive yeah. but when, when and I can be, feel really feel and, and I can really see how I now need to be much more cautious like okay we need to say no here mm -hmm. I mean we, we, we can't work with this company uh, and uh, I mean sometimes uh, you also need to look at the culture side much more is this a culture fit like you, you need to actually uh, look at the uh, decision makers and the, you know, the 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 person and the, and the people on the other side. And uh, do we believe in the same things? Will will they be able to work uh, mm -hmm. and together with the uh, the team here? So you, you, there's very very important uh, to find uh, different ways to evaluate these relationships before you start one and. Um, it's interesting because I know like the, the values and all these things are very important when you hire people and within your team. But it's interesting that you say that you also consider that with um, customers and if they would yeah. work together with your team. Like I'm, I'm, I'm surprised, but it makes total sense. Yes, and I, I, I feel that I have ramped, ramped up that game. Yeah. So, um, and and I, I, I can see that I have. Uh, you know, there has been some stuff, uh, businesses, um, how should I say, um, ended up uh, becoming a project and um, we, 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 we need to uh, be careful. We, mm -hmm. ne we need to, um, I mean, very often uh, customers could also say like, okay, I mean, you said it will be like a 300k project uh, in your quote, but we we don't we just have uh, like 150k. Uh, and I mean, there's one thing if you realize, okay, are we like five percent from each other, mm -hmm. you know, price wise? Um, but I mean, when when there is like 20, 30, 40 percent, I mean, the entire profit is in that yeah you can you can do that as a freelancer you can do that as a small business in a in a like because then you will maybe much more be the person managing the project managing the relationship you are maybe delivering it mm. you know you know where you should stop and but when you as a um entrepreneur a founder a, a, a like a, a a person who is actually trying to scale your scale a company and put yourself out of the picture yeah. uh, i mean selling delivering things so you actually could work on other things that uh, is taking the company in the right direction then you must be even more careful picking the customers and you know um having a, a um how, how should i say an attitude that like bad it, it's a bad fit good yeah. fit bad fit so no no more bad fits happening here on my watch <laughs> so that's what i could have done that's what i could have done uh better and mm -hmm. i think that's also something i i, I must um put on the table and and, and teach and and help people understand and uh, what what kind of services are we focused on mm. and also what is a good or bad fit on a on a culture side even when it comes to customers as you said you naturally do it when you 
pick uh, employees and, and crew members. But I mean, again, it's about people. Yeah. I mean, you hire good uh, culture fit, so the new employees should be able to work together with uh, the other employees. Hmm. But you, of course, you must also have the same perspective with uh, uh, with customers because they should work with the with the employees, right? Yeah, it makes so but much I mean, sense. They, it's yeah. people, it's human beings. So, um, and what is a? I, I think uh, uh, the red alarm bell, so to speak, mm-hmm. uh, is very often also flashing. Mm-hmm. Very, oh, <laughs> Ooh, it was red. Yeah, the red light. There, there we have the red light. Um, and um, typically, you hear from customers when, as I said, when the the gap between the expectations around the price when it's like not five yeah. percent when it becomes like. 20, 30, 40, 50 percent, uh, then you, it's definitely not a good fit. But you can also hear when they say something like, OK, we like we suggest this process. Mm-hmm. Uh, and um, uh, then it's also very that it's not good, you know, when uh, because that when you when you when you're scaling a company, you uh, you employ people, you teach a process yeah. and, you know, they get educated. This is how we do things. And then you bring in a customer that is saying, oh, we will do like 30, 40, 50 percent of that process. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's also, you know, how should I say, like doomed to fail. Yes. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So I should be more careful uh, what I bring in or. Mm-hmm. Like what we bring in here at Tiger Moon, uh, both on a culture fit side on, on for customers, but also like um, like the work we deliver. Yeah. We we need to stay in the niche. Um, yeah. So um, I think that was uh, probably. A mix of what I could have done different on, and, and what you learned. also what I have learned. I thought and, so too. <laughs> uh, let, yeah, let's celebrate the victories uh, in uh, the last episode before Christmas here. And uh, uh, I, I really want to uh, uh, give some kudos to you, Svea Malina. I, I think you. it has been a... <laughs> uh, uh, amazing uh, year uh, growing together and uh, doing this uh, vlog and uh, I mean we have accomplished like 131 episodes 32, <laughs> 32 exactly it was uh, uh, a um, where I started yeah. the episode as well uh, <laughs> and um, but I think it's a good uh, transition over over to what I think uh, has been really good uh, and uh, uh, we, we have been growing and I, I'm very grateful for having you on board also keeping me on, on track as you did there uh, and uh, bringing a, a lot of energy to this um, uh, vlog and uh, helping uh, uh, the introverted, you know, <laughs> person I am uh, to actually practice. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm throwing away my, my microphone. I like helping me um, adding questions uh, to this uh, vlog, uh, helping me practicing, expressing myself in, in, in English. And uh, you asked me uh, in two episodes ago, like, uh, what is my plan for the next year? Something I w- want to, yeah, I mean, change or grow around. And I think uh, that's definitely something I'm. Uh, I need to uh, actually find a more structured approach to, and that's my English. And uh, because I want to uh, improve my English, because I need it uh, where where I'm. Um, and the vision for Igo Moon, like a, a part of that is uh, that I need to improve my English um, to uh, open up offices ar- uh, around the, uh, the, uh, the globe and 
and um, I, I'm uh, that's also the reason you know why I launched the vlog and also uh, the uh, uh, my uh, MatthiasGrunboy.com uh, uh, website where we are publishing all the episodes but something I will do next year is also I will start writing there and uh, to you know publish uh, blog post I think that's a good way to actually practice um, yeah, absolutely. The the the, uh, the craft. So, uh, um, and I'm also uh, next year. Uh, I will. Uh, I will. Um, what do you say? Like, certify, certificate. Yeah, certify. <laughs> certify myself. I think. <laughs> That's the goal. I will. Um, um, yeah. So I, I will uh, learn how to become a coach. Uh, so I get a like uh, better uh, structured way to actually uh, coach people. And well, that's um, exciting. Yeah, that's also something um, I'm uh, very interested in. So, um, but again, kudos to you, uh, Svea. Thank you so much, Matthias. <laughs> uh, and uh, so that's a victory. I think the uh, 132 episodes we have uh, uh, published here yeah. that's a victory and uh, let's take the show to a new level next uh, year next year yes yes and um, then I, I also uh, something happened here today uh, and I'm uh, super glad for for uh, super glad <laughs> glad yeah <laughs> So there's always like a word like yeah. glad. Is yeah. that a is that an English word? Yes. Glad. Yeah, I think it basically means the same thing. Also, yeah, glad okay. and glad is the same. Easy, Matthias. Perfect word. Yeah. Means yeah, the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, for I'm actually uh, uh, super uh, <laughs> glad <laughs> <laughs> for for Dennis because he closed his first. Uh, like a uh, big project mm -hmm. uh, this week and uh, I don't know if you watch this Dennis but uh, I'm so happy for you um, and uh, I know how hard you uh, have uh, been fighting for this uh, and and uh, like uh, you have uh, been working so hard to, to close this uh, business and I just want to say that uh, uh, I, I knew it will happen and uh, keep on working I, I think the uh, 2022 uh, it, it will it will be the best uh, year for you ever on a profession professional level based on the uh, growth you have uh, been doing over uh, the 2021 year and um, yeah kudos to you yeah congrats really. Dennis sounds amazing <laughs> <laughs> all right I think that's a super positive ending to this and you had so much to say I didn't want to interrupt you there but also oh. uh, yeah thank you for the kudos I really appreciate that it's always nice to give uh, to get to give and to get good feedback yeah. obviously and yeah thank you for trusting me with this because when we first met you didn't know me basically but you trusted me and here we are 132 episodes in and many more <laughs> to come hopefully let's uh, get onto our well deserved to break now have some nice vacation time I'll go all the way to Lapland and relax a bit and then I think when we come back we have new energy and probably new ideas uh, for the vlog. So stay tuned and everyone out there, happy holidays and uh, yeah, a good new year when it's time. And yes. thank you for watching and for uh, yeah, uh, following this journey. Maybe you just joined, but maybe you've been here from the start. We appreciate you and hope to see you next year. Bye bye. Thanks for watching Matt Grant Talks episode 132. And uh, remember, hit the bell, subscribe, and see you 2022. And don't miss an episode. It will be amazing. Bye we bye. are doing a journey here. I'm trying to do a cool transition. Yeah, that was very cool. <laughs> Classic Swedish <laughs> jule, yeah. as we say. Precis. Okay, a yes. it's like a Christmas star. <laughs> yeah, we say that too in German. Uh, Weihnachtsstern. The, yeah, yeah. That's the flower. Uh, I don't know how it is in uh, Germany. Do you have the same flower? Yeah, Weihnachtsstern. Yeah, yeah. Christmas star.
<laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, now we sorted that out too. That was a yeah. very odd ending, but that's what we all are here for. That's how we are. Yes. <laughs> You you get Thank good information you. and also get some fun. That is um, that's for sure. Thank you, Matthias, and uh, see you in the next one in two weeks. <laughs> It's a wrap. Bye bye. <laughs>